Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blogger and uh, in this video I will show you how to blur a video in VSCC free video editor. So blurring is one of the most common features and uh, you may want to blur the entire video or a part of the video and uh, VSCC has a couple of options for blurring a video. So if you go to video effects and if you go to filters, you will see those options. So we have box blur, stack blur, Gaussian blur and motion blur. Today in this video we will be seeing box blur, stack blur and Gaussian blur. Motion blur is a little bit complicated so I will be making a different video uh, covering just motion blur. Um, apart from these three blurs we will also be seeing this option right here called D logo and uh, I will explain to you a little bit later why we will be you know looking at this option, this option apart from these three. So first let me just uh, tell you that I have already imported my demo video and uh, let's start with box blur first so let me go to video effects go to filters and select box blur right here let me just click on ok my box blur is uh, set to the entire duration of the video currently and um, if you really look inside the properties window you will find this option called box blur fx settings and uh, the main you currently there are four different options right here processing mode blur levels blur x levels blur y levels um, but the option which we are really interested in is this option right here blur level so currently it is selected to one so if i just write 10 here you will instantly notice the blur on the screen um, as the blur effect is set to the entire duration of the video as I play the video, as you can see, my entire duration is blur, uh, entire video is blurred. So this is box blur, by the way. Um, there is another option called adjustment FX settings. Uh, here in that you will find this option extend the boundaries. So currently it is selected to false. So if I just select it to true, a shadow border will appear on the screen. Uh, with the blur effect. So again, if I just play the video, as you can see, this shadow border, uh, shadow border appearing, because I just uh, selected true in the extend the boundaries option in adjustment effect settings. Now, as I said before, my box blur effect is set to the entire duration of the video, so I can shorten it again as per my need let me just uh, quickly select false here in extend the boundaries option and uh, as you can see i have shortened the duration of my box blur effect and now if i again play the video from the start the portion where my box blur effect is present during that portion, my entire screen got blurred. So this is box blur by the way. And uh, this is just one box blur effect. If I want or if you want, you can again go to video effects, go to filters, select box blur, click on OK. And uh, so now I have two box blur effects in my video. So this is the first box blur effect which is going to come right now. And this is the second box blur effect which will be coming right now, which you can see on the screen. So let's go to stack blur now. Box blur, stack blur and Gaussian blur are not so much different. So if I just select stack blur here and click on OK. If you just look at the effect settings, box blur effect settings, you will find processing mode, blur level, blur X level, blur Y level. And if you look at the stack blur effect settings, you will find blur levels, blur X level, blur Y level. So again, the blur level option is central in stack blur also. Not much of a difference. Again, if I just put 10 here, just a second. As you can see on the screen, my entire screen again got blurred. 
so box blur blurs the entire screen stack blur blurs the entire screen both have this common option called blur level uh, which you can use to increase or decrease the blur levels and uh, both have this option extend the boundaries so again it is currently selected to false if i just select it to true i will have this shadow border appearing around the blur so now let me just quickly select a gaussian blur so let me just go to video effects just a second let me just go to video effects go to filters and select gaussian blur and in gaussian blur we just have this option blur level option we don't have blur x level blur y level and uh, and it's it's the same story again if i just put 10 here or if i just change it to 10 as you can see again it will be the blur will appear on the screen so now if i just play the video where i have you know put box blur stack blur and gaussian blur there is actually not much of a difference between all the three blurs so this is box blur this is stack blur and this is gaussian blur now the problem is with these three blurs and which i noticed is that you cannot put a blur on any particular portion of the video so box blur stack blur and gaussian blur are all they cover the entire screen so that's an issue um, what if you want only a certain part of the video to you know to be blurred uh, and you don't want the entire uh, screen to be blurred so what do you do then so in that case box blur stack blur and gaussian blur they all three of them don't help uh, unfortunately uh, there should have been some option available inside these blurs but uh, unfortunately there is no option for that and that's where we get to the d logo option so if i go to video effects if i go to filters and if i select d logo and click on ok so d logo has this you know feature of um, literally where you can uh, any portion on the screen which you want to blur you can blur with d logo so as you can see i have got this cursor with me and uh, this selected area with me and uh, using this i can actually blur any portion of the screen so for example if i just put this blur on the center or d logo effect on the center um, in d logo filter settings inside properties window you will find two options presets and level one so if if i uh, in level if i just change it from one to ten as you can see the kind of uh, 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 the pixelate level kind of increased and why i say pixelate level because in presets currently pixelate is selected so if i select this drop down right here i will you will find box blur lens blur mosaic and gaussian blur so now if i select box blur so this box blur right here you can also select kind of lens blur you can select mosaic you can select Gaussian blur. So let me just select box blur right here and uh, let me just play the video for you. Again, you can actually currently D logo is applied to the entire duration of the video. You can actually shorten the length of this effect and uh, uh, put it on any particular portion on the screen as per your choice so what we really saw is that blur effect uh, box blur effect stack blur effect and gaussian blur they kind of blur the entire screen and uh, while if you want that you can use that but if you want 
the blur effect to appear on any particular portion of the screen um, you can use this D logo effect right here or D logo option right here where you get the selection area where you get the selection area uh, which you know which you can use to place anywhere on the screen wherever you want the blur to appear and you got couple of options with you so we have box blur we have lens blur we have gaussian blur mosaic and pixelate so again as per your choice uh, you can select any option uh, which suits you so just try with different things and um, try a couple of other variations not just what i showed you but uh, keep trying keep experimenting and you will kind of get to know all these different options which are present um, again this is on a really basic level uh, if uh, there are much more technicalities involved like for example when we were looking at uh, box blur or stack blur um, there was the blur x level blur y level although i have used those options i don't see that much of difference it makes but still if you want you can actually try your hand on and try different options and uh, different by putting different values uh, and see how the entire thing turns up on the screen so that's it guys uh, i hope you liked my video do share with me your thoughts in the coming section below and uh, do like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching